Hey everybody, this is Javi. Sorry, I'm um, like three different devices going on right now. Um, just simply because I am doing this live. So let me go ahead and like uh let people know that I'm here if I can. So I'll do this. Um, let people know that I'm here. I'm just like, just tagging people at this point. Now, if I'm tagging y'all twice, I apologize. If I missed you, I apologize as well. But hey, everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching Bedtime Stories with Javi. And um, how are you? I hope everyone is doing all right. I have three, four different devices going on. So, um, yeah. So tonight, um, I am reading um, this uh, Call Me Max by uh, Kyle Lukoff. Hey, how you doing? Oops. What happened here? Yeah, trying to wave. But yeah, like tonight I'm going to be reading this particular book, Call Me Max. And uh, the reason being is because like this is an opportunity for us to hear stories um, written by uh, or centering marginalized and colonized people. Representation is extremely important. And today, like we find out a little bit about Max. If you are uh, wanting to like support in any way, shape or form, um, because every little bit counts as far as the, the books I get. Um, so if, you, hey, how you doing? So if you ever want to support, by all means, uh, share this video. If you'd like to donate, uh, let me know and uh, I can send you the links. Uh, I think they're, uh, they're in the uh, post that I put on Instagram. So uh, Cash App, Bowtie Psychic, or uh, for YouTube, uh, at uh, Hobby the Medium. So thank you for being here. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for being here. And so we are going to be reading Call Me Max, okay? Call Me Max by Kyle Lukov. Chapter one, when I look in the mirror, I see a boy. I see a boy with spiky brown hair. I see a boy with white skin that tans in the summer. I see a boy with one mom and one dad and two goldfish. I also see a boy who is transgender. Transgender is a long word, it, but it means something simple. Trans means going across, like how transportation means going from here to there. Gender means being a boy or a girl, or a little bit of both, or not feeling like a boy or a girl. When a baby is born, a grown-up says, it's a boy, or it's a girl, as if a brand new baby could talk. If a brand new baby could talk, sometimes that baby might say, no, I'm not. When a baby grows up to be transgender, it means that the grown-ups who say they are a boy, they were a boy or a girl made a mistake. When I was born, my mom and dad said, it's a girl. When I looked in the mirror, I saw a girl, kind of. But because I'm transgender, I wanted to see a boy. My parents thought it was cute when I put on my dad's ties. I like to sleep in my Batman shirt. 
when they bought me a dress for the first for the first day of school, I lost it. I didn't tell them I lost it at the bottom of the garbage can. I wore my favorite overalls instead. I thought school would be hard because I didn't know how to read. I thought school would be hard because I wouldn't get to play all day. But school turned out to be hard for other reasons. On the first day of school, the teacher called our names. Emery, here. Stella, me. I raised my hand when she got to my name. She looked at me and then at the list of names and then back at me again. I wondered if she thought my name didn't make sense for me. I felt that way too. Can you call me Max? I asked. Max is the boy in my favorite book. She nodded and wrote it down. I won't tell you what my old name is. That's private. I had to go to the bathroom after snack. At home, there is one bedroom or one bathroom for everyone to use. When I went to the, to the store with my dad, I went to the bathroom with him. When I went to the movies with my mom, I went to the bathroom with her. But at school, I had to pick which bathroom to use. When I went to the girl's bathroom, a girl ran out. She thought I was a boy. I didn't mean to scare her, but I liked that she thought I was a boy. I used the, boy ba the boy's bathroom instead. But when I came out, I saw the kids giggling and pointing. I decided to hold it all day and try not to drink too much water, no matter how thirsty I got. Sorry, my cat likes to run in and out. Making friends was easy. But everyone asked if I was a boy or a girl. I told my friend Teresa that I wanted to be a boy. She asked me why. Because I like climbing trees, I told her, and looking, at, looking for gross bugs. She looked mad. I'm a girl, she told me, and we climbed this tree together. I also caught more spiders than you did. Oh, yeah, I said. Sorry, I forgot. But spiders aren't bugs, and I still don't think I'm a girl. I know spiders aren't bugs, Teresa said. Why don't you think you're a girl? Because I don't feel like one on the inside. I told my friend Steven that I might be a boy. I can't be a girl, I said. I hate wearing dresses. He looked down at his dress, then glared at me. This is my favorite dress, and I like being a boy. Oh, yeah, I said. I forgot. I'm sorry. And it's a pretty dress. But I still know I'm a boy.
how come, he, he asked. Because I feel like one, I told him, on the inside. One day, Stephen and Teresa came over to play. My parents heard them call me Max. During dinner, they asked me why. I told them all about school, how I couldn't go to the bathroom, how, how I didn't like my old name, how I felt like a boy. My mom and dad talked to my teacher, and we found a group for kids like me, boys and girls and kids who weren't boys or girls. All of us were transgender. We talked about serious things like bathrooms and teasing. We also talked about fun things like video games and books and toys. I don't know what our parents talked about. Probably the same things. I told my class I was transgender. The boys got used to me having uh, to having me in their bathroom. The girls didn't want me in theirs anyway. Teresa and I kept climbing trees and finding gross bugs. I still didn't want to play dress up with Steven. Some of the girls in the group gave me their old boys clothes. I gave them some of my old girls clothes. Being a boy isn't better than being a girl, but being myself is the best. The end. So that was the end of Call Me Max, um, a little boy who was trans, uh, who was trans, and basically living his best life and discovering himself. Um, hey to the people who jumped on. Hey. Um, Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like that story and would like to have more stories like it, um, by all means, let me know. Put the title in the description uh, or in the comments, rather, or you can DM me and I will do everything I can to get that title. Also, I'm taking donations to buy children's books um, because I feel like it's extremely important. This is a community effort. I'm, I'm like looking over here, uh, but it's a community effort. And every little bit helps. And all of the proceeds go to children's books that I find online, whether it be Amazon, thrift books, whatever. Um, it could be $1, $5, $20. You know, that really doesn't matter. Um, just so you know, um, all the proceeds go to buying books. Thank you. Yeah, like it was awesome. It was a really cool book. Um, and if I'm looking jetting this way, it's because I have three different devices going on. So everyone can uh, participate in this because the more people know about this, the better. And it's another way for us to connect with our inner child, tap into that part of ourselves who just loves literature and loves words and loves reading um, and loves seeing themselves um, represented in any way, shape or form. So, so uh, no, uh, do I have Venmo st uh, set up? I believe so. Please DM me. And so, uh, so I can, um, get that to you because I usually don't use Venmo but I will definitely do that um but yeah like uh thank you so much by the way so I will be uh this will be up the replay will be up for everyone to see also if you would like to subscribe to my uh, YouTube page um by all means let me know there's a lot of other stories that I've uh, read uh, over the course of a couple of months so you can uh, look at those replays as well but yeah, um, thank you so much for, you know, being here with me tonight. I really appreciate it. And y'all taking your time uh, to sit with me and listen to me read a story. And so be sure to like my page, share my, uh, my page, let everyone know that I'm here every Wednesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So until next time, 
Y'all have a good rest of the night. Peace. See ya. Thank you for coming. All right. See y'all next time. Peace.